Hi, this is Dr. B. Let's do the Lewis structure for XeO4. We'll start out with the periodic table. Xenon has eight valence electrons. Oxygen has six, but we have four of those. So 24 plus eight is 32. So we have 32 valence electrons. We'll put the xenon at the center, and then we'll put the four oxygens around it like this. We'll put a pair of electrons between each of the atoms here to form chemical bonds. We've used 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. When you look at this, it seems that everything has 8 valence electrons. All those do. As does the xenon in the center. So you think you're done but we really should look at formal charges to make sure this is the correct or the best structure for the XeO4. That's because xenon sometimes holds more than the eight valence electrons. Looking at the formal structures, xenon has eight valence electrons when you look on the periodic table. All of them are involved in bonds, so there's no non-bonding. And these right here, these eight, are our bonding. So we take eight and divide it by two. 8 minus 0 minus 4 is plus 4. For the oxygens, and all the oxygens are the same, we have 6 from the periodic table, we have 6 non-bonding valence electrons, and then we have these 2 bonding valence electrons right there, which we'll divide by 2. 6 minus 6 minus 1 gives you negative 1. So I wrote those formal charges there on the uh, Lewis structure for XeO. Four, and clearly these aren't even close to zero here so this is probably not the best structure even though at first it seemed like a pretty good structure it seemed like all the octets were satisfied so when I see the plus four that makes me think I'm gonna need four double bonds to uh, even things out here so let's see what that looks like so I've pulled the valence electrons that were on the outside here, this pair, and moved it into the center. So now we have the same number of valence electrons, but we have double bonds sharing between the oxygen and the xenon. Let's check our formal charges, see if this is the correct or the best Lewis structure for XeO4. Xenon is eight valence electrons. All of these valence electrons are involved in bonds, so there is zero non-bonding. And if you count these up, you will find that there are 16 bonding electrons, which we'll divide by 2, 16 divided by 2. 8 minus 0 minus 8 gives you 0. For the oxygen on the periodic table, 6 valence electrons. We have 4 that are non-bonding, and then we have 4 that are bonding that we divide by 2. 6 minus 4 minus 2 is 0. Because these are 0, that tells me that this is the best structure for XeO4. The other structure looked like it might work out at first, but the formal charges were not quite where we wanted them to be. Which, but this one, we have two zeros. That's perfect. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.